Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we're working on the Ford Fiesta MK7 here, and we'll show you guys how to remove and replace rear door lock actuator. If you have MK7 Fiesta from 2008 to 2017, and you're wondering, okay, if the rear door doesn't lock or unlock and the actuator is bad, okay, this one right here, it's everything is integrated in, inside the door. We'll show you how to replace it guys. Now make sure you subscribe. We'll have probably close to 200 videos on that car on this channel World Mechanics and on how to repair guys as well. So let's start on it now. Okay guys, so what we will need to do, okay, those are the tools that we'll be using. Panel removal tools, screwdrivers. We really like those because they come with everything we need for those jobs and we'll have the links for all the parts, okay, and tools that we use in the description of the video guys. So we're trying to save you some time, okay? So now we'll need to remove, okay, that cap. Okay, we need to open that cap and, okay, you can see, we pulled it out. Okay, it has three, three teeth, so uh, you have to be careful how you install that one later. Okay, we're going to get a few, oops, screwdriver, okay, and we will remove, okay, that screw now. Okay, almost out. Okay, perfect. Now, we have a few more things to do. We will need a Torx 25, this is the star looking bit, okay, and longer screwdriver, okay, like that. Okay, right here there is two more, okay, let me get some light here. So you see that there is two more screws and those are different than the one that we already removed. Okay, one is out, one more to go. Okay, second one is almost out now. Okay, perfect. Next we need to get a trim removal too, and right here we need to pry that cap out of here. Okay, let me show you where the clip is on the bottom side. Okay, that's where it goes. Then, stay with us. Once we remove the door panel, I'm going to show you where all the clips are so you don't damage your door panel. Okay, and if you get usually your fingers underneath, you can pull it, but it might be really, really tight, guys, because it, it really depends if it's been removed before or not. So, we're going to go again. Okay, you can see it started popping. Okay, now right here on top we need to be careful. There is uh, usually one more clip, I believe. Okay. Perfect. Now we need to disconnect the cable. Let me show you how that happens. And I'm going to demonstrate what happened with some of the clips. So this cable now, okay, let me get some light on. Okay, this piece right here, okay, you need to, okay, push it towards the back. Okay, on both sides. Okay, and you pull it out. When you're ready to install it, okay, all you have to do, okay, bring the panel close to the thing. Okay, go in an angle like that. Okay, the panel is still a little bit short because the cable is short. I'm trying to get the camera in there. And next, you will just, okay, need to click it like that, ain't stuck. And when you need to remove it, just press the thing pull it out now we have the wires for the switch guys that's for the window switch and let's twist it so we can show you how to do that now okay so there is one two there that you need to push back I'm going to show you once we pull the cable okay let me show you now okay this one okay right here it needs to go back and then you pull the wires out now we have a problem guys okay now we have some clips that actually stayed on the door. So we need to go ahead and remove those. Okay, you can see the white clips, hope oh, that's the head. Okay, we need to pull those things out. Okay, and install them on the panel, otherwise you will not be able to install the door panel later. Okay, one is out, just one more to go. 
if you need replacement clips uh, we we use some so we'll share the link okay and this one as well you can see it's not all the way in so you need to push it in and those you just go from the bigger hole and you just push it okay just like that okay now let me show you where all the clips are okay on the door panel so you know where to apply pressure okay so this is the front side okay you have three right here and you have four on this side oh right, guys so uh, we removed okay the window okay one second the window switch from the panel okay so we can move the window up and down here you have two okay two covers that you need to remove one there that we already peeled off careful not to break them for that hole and the one there uh, from here we are going to access the uh, the bolt for the rear window okay this one came off so you can re-glue them later okay just like that now with the ignition on we are going to bring the window down until we get the bolts okay right there one bolt and another bolt here so what we'll need to do now guys okay we'll need to get a 10 millimeter okay right here we have with the screwdriver set a 10 millimeter socket and we're going okay just to turn them okay one or two revolutions okay and this one is really really tight okay so we'll need to get a ratchet okay so we need to get a ratchet because it's really really tight get them loose only a couple revolutions guys don't take them off all the way okay second one as well perfect next we'll bring the window all the way down okay and you can hold the window with one hand okay and gently drop it there okay and careful not to drop it all the way fast to break or anything like that next we'll need to pull that seal out of the groove there okay and you need to pull it all the way out okay like that here let me turn the light on okay we have two screws with torx okay so with torx 20 okay right here we're going to remove the two screws now okay this one is almost out okay and second one over there now okay perfect next we need to remove okay that seal right here after that we need to lift on this side okay that seal is very important how you remove it because if you bend it it will be visible later okay so it just needs to go like that okay you can see okay there is one canal right here that's on top of the plastic prevents it from going up now you're going to slide it up until it comes out okay it's almost almost there okay perfect next you can grab the window with two hands careful not to break it okay and you can okay slide it out it goes only one certain way guys okay and the whole window you can see the window comes out okay just like that next with the torx 25 okay right here we're going to remove the window motor now okay it has three screws holding it okay last one now and you just pull it straight out don't twist okay like that we need to disconnect the wire by pressing in on both things and pulling out okay this one is out of the way now okay next with the 10 millimeter socket we're going to remove all these bolts
Okay, just a few more to go. Okay, I think all we got is just two more. Okay, right there. Okay, now you can grab it, guys. It will be glued together. You have to make sure that everything's loose now. Okay, the wires are right there in the way a little bit. And what happens now? We have, I think, uh, we have three glides right here. Once we remove it, I'm going to show you what exactly we're talking about. And the whole, the, uh, the whole panel will need to go towards the front. Okay, so it can uh, come loose. Okay, from the holders. Okay, it got loose. You can a little bit get an idea right here where things are. Okay, now we will need to disconnect that, that clip right here. Okay, this white one that holds the uh, cable for the interior door handle. Okay, you pull it out. Now it's important, okay, to disconnect that cable right here. Okay, this cable is for the door lock actuator. Once we unhook it, I'm going to show you what to expect because I cannot get my camera in there. It's very limited room. Okay, and we just got the clip loose. Okay, check it out now. Okay, this thing right here in the middle. Okay, you have to press down on it and then you pull it out. When you press down, okay, you can see it unlocks it. Okay, right here. Next, we need to get the panel out. Feed the wire through it. Okay, like that. Okay guys, and this is the three glides right here that I was talking about, that you need to slide it forward. Remember that whole panel needs to go forward. When you install it, don't forget that you need to line up all three of them and push backwards. If you're not sure if they're in, you can sneak a peek from top or you can remove the speaker and access them with your hand through the speaker and touch to see if they're inside. Okay guys, we got the panel out of the way now. You can see this is the door lock actuator, but unfortunately that thing does not come uh, separate. You have to pull it out with the exterior door handle mechanism. Okay, we will need to remove that cap right here and inside there is one bolt. Okay, and this one is with the Torx. Okay, again Torx 15 I think. So, it's kind of like fishing. You have to, you, you can see it with your eyes, but I cannot get the camera in there. Okay, and we're going to keep unscrewing. Okay, until that cap right here gets loose. It's still not loose. Okay, it's getting a little bit loose now, but it's still holding. A little, oh, right there. Check it out now. Okay, we're going to pull it out. Okay, like that. Leave that cap on the side. We don't need it for now. Next, you need to remove, okay, that seal right here, guys. Okay, you need to open the door handle. Okay, and push the seal on top of the door handle actually, so you don't break it. Okay, and next thing that you need to do, you kind of like need to lift and go this way a little bit too. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. Okay, you're gonna go up and then this way. It's gonna get loose. And you can pull the door handle out. Okay, just like that. Next with uh, Torx 20, we're going to get that screw loose. You don't need to remove it all the way. You don't need to be loose because we will need to slide it towards the front. Now, right here we have three more. Okay, and those I think are with uh, Torx 30 right here. So we need to go ahead. Okay, get those loose. And we can actually almost get to the, <laughs> to the final result soon. Okay, and when you install them, you can install some thread locker on those. The Mercedes rebuilding project is there, guys. You have two teeth right here, one here, one there. You need to push them in a little bit, careful not to break them, slide it towards the front. 
Okay guys, and this is the whole assembly right here, door lock actuator and inside door handle. Next, if you, okay, grab right here, you can pull it out, okay, there is two clips here holding. Kind of like need to help it a little bit, you need to squish in and pull it out at the same time. Okay, you can see it like that. One on this side as well. Okay, still holding a little bit. I cannot grab it with two hands because holding the camera here. Ah, it got in again on this side. Okay, like that. So now uh, you can see in order to disconnect them, we have to. This is the tricky part right here. These two things, you need to squeeze them in and pull it straight out. And this one, it could take you some time, guys, because they're very, very tight. So you need to get, you need to make sure that you get both teeth in. Okay, and you can see how they clicked out again. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, and eventually you just pull it out. Okay, you need to disconnect it right here now and the two things come apart now. So now the door lock actuator. Guys, you need to remove two screws here. We will need to do that. Okay, and this one is with a Torx 20, T20. Okay, you're going to see just two screws left now. Quite a bit of work. But... Not as complicated as some people think it is. Okay, two of them are out now. So we can just go ahead, okay, and pull it out. And this is the door lock actuator, guys, right here. Okay, guys, so when you are ready, you get the new one. Okay, and you need to install it on that plastic piece again. Make sure you get the, uh, the two screws in place now. Okay, everything needs to be perfectly put together otherwise it will not work and after you get those tight guys you need to connect your door handle mechanism that we just unhooked not too long ago and you need to install them on the door okay in reverse order we took everything apart you need to install the panel there in reverse order so that's how you guys uh, remove it thank you guys for watching please subscribe many more videos to come and see you guys next time